Hey guys, Janik here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Copycat Friday. Or should I say Copycat Wednesday? Well, it doesn't matter. It should be Copycat every day. But today is also a very special day. The new Insta360 ONE X2 is releasing at this very moment. And believe me guys, this is a must-have 360 camera. So if you want one guys, we have a link in the description below where you can buy one for yourself right now. Of course, we already have ours and we're going to use this to show you three Instagram effects created with a 360 camera. And now, let's go Lorenzo! how smooth that was well it has a steady cam function so guys for the first effect we are going to recreate this fun tiny planet effect from Kevin Luskarden where Jennick throws the ball at himself first of all we place our insta 360 1x2 on the invisible selfie stick which will serve as our tripod for this effect but the best thing about the selfie stick is that you won't see it afterwards hence the invisible part of course invisible. next let your actor stand on a certain spot holding a ball but also let another person stand behind him holding a look-alike ball. Then we can simply press record and let your actor do its thing. You can throw the ball away and within 3 seconds the second person throws their ball against the actor. The actor can then act being hit and maybe even take the ball and throw it back. Of course, very important, don't forget this, take an empty shot of your scene, don't touch anything, just hide and take your shot. Now the One X2 makes these shots super easy, as you can use the tiny screen on the camera itself to watch what you're doing. You can even use this tiny screen to look around and see the total 360 image. And now that we have our 360 footage, we can create our tiny planet effect. With the Insta360 app, you can easily create this effect. But we need a little bit more control, so let's do it in After Effects. Of course you can also do this in Premiere Pro, but we found out that After Effects is a little bit more stable for this. Oh yeah, we're also going to need a free plugin called GoPro FX Reframe to work with the 360 footage in After Effects. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, place your shot in the timeline, look for the Reframe plugin in your effects library and apply it to the clip. And now it's time to create the tiny planet effect. First, set the projection to 4K. 16.9 basically the resolution we're going to work in then let's zoom out a little and next we are going to decrease the tilt creating our small planet with the pan and rotation you can fine tune the position of your actor and place him on top then of course you can adjust the zoom even more if you want to next up we will add the empty shot to the timeline and apply the same reframe effect to it so just copy the effect from the original clip and paste it to the empty shot then select the empty shot and pre-compose it this we need to do because we are going to draw a mask on it then mask away your second person and and also the ball being thrown by your actor. And for the last part, we are going to animate the ball going around the planet. So duplicate the original clip, look for the point where your ball is midair, and trim the clip to this point. Again, pre-comp the ball clip. Then freeze frame the clip and mask out the ball. Also enable the animation for the position and scale of the ball clip. Then go further in time and look for the point where the ball of the second person is mid-air. Again, trim your clip to this point and place your cutout ball perfectly over the second person's ball. But like you now can see, the ball is just moving in a straight line. So with some extra keyframes and tweaking the levers, you can let the ball go around this tiny planet and create this cool effect. Okay guys, time for the next effect, which is going to be this very cool sliding walk from Cash Bunny. And we have two versions for this, one simple one and one more advanced. For the simple one, you just need your actor to walk around holding the Insta360 camera with an invisible selfie stick on one side of his body. Let him walk around for a few minutes so that you have enough footage for the effect. And now for the easy part. With the Insta360 app, you can go to the Stories tab on the bottom, then in the Shot Lab tab you can choose your effect, and this is going to be the Stop Motion theme. Go further and now you can select the clip you just made. Press the check mark in the right top corner, and now the app is going to create the effect for us. But first, we have to let the app know which person to track. So angle your framing towards your actor and follow the instructions. Now of course, let it analyze. And once it's done, the app will show you some options. With the static option, it will look like Lorenzo is gliding over the floor. With the forward option, it will look like Lorenzo is walking forwards, but with very large steps. 
and boom, it's ready to be posted on your Instagram. But let's take it to the next level. We are going to go completely around our actor with our 360 camera, just like Cash Bunny did in her video. So again, let your actor walk around, but this time let a second person hold the camera, while he follows the actor and at the same time slowly circles around the actor. Also, again hold the camera with an invisible selfie stick. Now we can again do all the steps in our Inside360 app. Once the tracking is done, you will again get the static and the forward option. For this we are going to select the forward option and then we can render it out. And now, let's take it even further. Go and shoot on different locations and apply the effects for every location. Now when you have the multiple effect clips, we can throw it all together in Premiere Pro and create transitions between the clips. This can be a simple cut, but can also be a glitch, whatever you like. Now what if you don't have the One X2 or their awesome app? Well, then you can just shoot with your 360 camera just like we did and place your footage in After Effects. With the GoPro reframe effect, you can animate your framing to always point towards your actor. Then with a lot of cuts, free frames and tweaking, you can achieve the same wanted effect the Insta360 can do with just a few clicks. Now for the last effect, we are going to recreate this rotation effect, which Will Smith used in one of his Instagram videos. Or maybe you can use it to evade some bullets, like in the Matrix. But anyways, we are going to show you a simple method, but also a more advanced method to create this effect. Let's start with the simple version, and for this we are going to use a function inside the 1x2 itself. The function has the name bullet time, which is especially made to rotate around your subject. When you turn on the 1x2, just go to the resolution options, here you need to set the resolution to 3K with a frame rate of 100 FPS. Next, press the camera icon on the screen and scroll down. Here you will now find the bullet time option, which we need to select. Take the special bullet time rope or handle and attach it to your Insta360 camera. And now we just need to press record and start swinging. Super scary, but super easy. Warning, make sure that your camera is secure, because a flying 360 camera is not a fun camera. Okay, now we have our bullet time shot. And when we look at it, you can see that the shot always points perfectly at our subject. But what if we want to create this effect without holding something in our hands? Well, this we can create with any 360 camera because we're not gonna use the bullet time effect for this one. So on location, look for a tree with a higher branch or you can even use a long boom pole. Now take a longer rope and throw this over the set branch. Let's attach our camera to the longer rope and again, make sure it's safe. Then let your actor stand under the branch and now we can swing our camera around our actor. You can even throw stuff at him while you're recording the effect. And once you have the footage, we can start with the post-production, which is made super easy because of Insta360. They have a new Deep Track 2.0 function in the app, but also in the studio. This is a powerful tracking AI that will track any subject and keep it in the middle. Perfect for this effect. So let us show you in the studio how you can use this super smart tracking AI and always position the actor in the middle. And voila, the effect is done. However, if you don't have the Insta360 software, you can always use the reframe plugin inside of Premiere Pro or After Effects, but of course you'll have to do the tracking manually. And that's it. Time for Genix Fun Fact Fountain! Now this whole video we were talking about 360 cameras, but do you know when they first invented the 360 camera? No? Well, Neither do I. Or do I? The first 360 camera was invented in 1857 by a Mr. Garella from England. And how does it work, you ask? Very simple. By using a fan-driven clockwork mechanic, it could rotate around its own axis and capture a full 360 view. Not too bad when you know the first camera was invented only 30 years earlier. And that was it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you Insta360 for the support and the super nice camera. And guys, don't forget the link in the description below for your very own Insta360 1X2. Now like always, stay creative.